The James Webb Space Telescope has now been successfully and fully deployed in space. On Monday, January 24, the scientists instructed the telescope to fire up its thrusters and complete the final correction burn. That would place it into its final destination, the Lagrange point, also known as point L2. Lagrange points refer to locations where the gravitational forces of two massive objects such as the Sun and Earth are in equilibrium. But why did scientists choose the point L2 specifically? It is because the point is an ideal location for an infrared observatory. At L2, the Sun, Moon and Earth are always on one side of space, allowing Webb to keep its telescope optics and instruments forever shaded. This enables the telescope to get cold enough for infrared sensitivity, yet still access nearly half the sky at any given moment for observations. The telescope is now currently 1.5 million kilometers away from us, which is more than twice the distance between the Earth and the Moon. This distance is completely beyond the reach of humans for now, so any failure during the journey would have made the telescope an expensive piece of waste floating in space forever. So kudos to the NASA teams for doing such a fantastic job. The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope from French Guiana on December 25th was a Christmas present for space lovers. After the launch the telescope went several maneuvers before being released into its destination. The mission involved the deployment of various components in sequence. On January 4th, the Webb completed its complex unfolding of 21-meter tennis court-sized sun shield. And four days later on January 8, the scientists successfully deployed the primary mirror of the telescope. The mirrors were folded because it was too difficult to transport the telescope in a single piece into the orbit. The $10 billion space telescope is the biggest and the most complex space telescope ever built. While the Hubble telescope collects images in mostly visible light, James Webb will mostly take pictures in infrared region, revealing more detail about the objects in those images unlike ever before. As a matter of fact it is so powerful that it can detect the heat signature of a bumblebee on Earth from the Moon. The telescope's mirrors are plated of gold, giving it a Midas touch. After all, scientists took 25 years of pure hard research to achieve this marvelous feat of craftsmanship. NASA says that the deployment of the Webb telescope was one of the most complicated spacecraft activities it has ever performed. The next task of the team is to make adjustments to the mirror and perform the optimizations to the camera. This procedure alone will take around six months. In these six months the telescope will cool down and calibrate its instruments. Although it will take some pictures of the cosmos, but they might look a bit blurry. During this time, the team of experts will also demonstrate their power to track fast-moving targets which are nearby objects like asteroids, comets, moons, and planets in our own solar system. NASA however expects sending the first crystal clear photograph taken through this masterpiece this summer. I hope that the scientists' hard work pays off and we get to see some of the most breathtaking and magnificent unexplored parts of our universe, so that mankind can finally answer some of the biggest unsolved questions from the beginning of the universe. Are you excited about the James Webb Space Telescope? And what do you think will be the greatest achievement of it? Please do let us know what you think in the comments section below. Consider subscribing the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.